In this week's Business Courier front page cover story, it's a fascinating story about preserving the past while planning for the future. The Ohio Department of Transportation wants to build a four-lane highway along the Little Miami River in Marymount. That's because most people who live in the so-called Eastern Corridor say you can't get there from here. The goal of the $1 billion Eastern Corridor project is to clear up the horrible traffic jams that plague Marymount, Newtown, Terrace Park, and Anderson Township, then spill over into northern Kentucky as Ohio drivers detour south of the river to try to bypass the traffic crush. The Eastern Corridor project has been contentious since it was first presented in the 1960s. And now there's even more reason. In November, this archaeological team from UC, working in Boone County in this particular video, okay. discovered a lost 17th century Fort Ancient Indian village in Marymount, and opposition to the project has exploded. The professor, who has always suspected the site existed, is counting on existing laws to save the site. These laws provide some degree of protection for this area, so we're hoping that the highway is actually dropped and allow these very precious resources to survive. Not alone, 1,300 people, just about everyone who lives in the village, signed a petition to stop the highway. And in May, Marymount was named one of the 11 most endangered places in the U.S. by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. But some business owners and developers see this differently. They say traffic jams cause accidents, pollution, and a lot of frustration, which kills business development. Ohio Department of Transportation engineers confirm the roads in the Eastern Corridor are at capacity. The proposed Eastern Corridor program has been divided into four core projects. They are the Red Bank Corridor, focused on reducing congestion on Red Bank Road in Madisonville, Oasis Rail Transit, with a goal to transport about 2,800 riders per day on a regional railway between the Banks and Milford, State Route 32 Relocation Project, creating a new link between State Route 32, US 50, and Red Bank Road, and State Route 32 improvements in the Eastgate area, which calls for widening portions of State Route 32 and improving the interchange to I-275 with new ramps and wider lanes. For more on this huge project, read the story in our print edition or the Business Courier online.